Yeah. What do you love about playing baseball? Just the respect of other people. Yeah. And playing against other people that are good. Do you love baseball? Do you want to know more about one of the most exciting young players in the game? Then you don't want to miss this video. We'll tell you why Gavin Williams will make MLB history with his amazing pitching skills and his incredible story. Watch on and be amazed. Gavin Williams is a young and talented pitcher for the Cleveland Guardians of Major League Baseball. He made his MLB debut in 2023 and has shown great potential and promise. He has a chance to make MLB history by becoming one of the best pitchers of his generation. Williams has a strong and diverse set of pitches. He can hurl a fastball that can reach 100 miles per hour, a slider that curves sharply, a curveball that falls off the radar, and a changeup that confuses the hitters. He can place his pitches well and vary them cleverly. He can also consistently pitch strikes and avoid giving walks. He has a high rate of striking out batters and a low rate of allowing runs, which are two key measures of pitching performance. Williams faced many challenges and hardships in his amateur and professional career. He suffered from several injuries, such as a damaged knee, a strained arm, and a hurt finger. He was also ignored in the 2020 draft, even though he was a highly rated prospect. But he did not give up on his dream. He worked hard to heal his injuries and enhance his skills. He showed his worth in the minor leagues and got a call up to the major leagues in 2023. Williams works hard and has a winning attitude. He always tries to improve and learn from his errors. He researches the game and studies his rivals. He pays attention to his coaches and teammates and follows their suggestions. Williams has a promising future in front of him. He's only 24 years old and has a lot of potential to improve and mature as a pitcher. He has already achieved remarkable results in his first season, winning three games, striking out 81 batters, and recording a 3.29 ERA in 16 starts. He also has earned compliments from his colleagues and experts for his skill and possibility. He's likely to be a vital part of the Guardian's rotation for a long time. He has the chance to accomplish many goals and honors in his career, such as winning awards, making all-star teams, pitching no-hitters or perfect games, leading the league in statistics, or helping his team win championships. Gavin Williams is a remarkable pitcher who will make MLB history because he has a powerful and versatile repertoire of pitches. He has overcome injuries and adversity. He has a strong work ethic and a competitive spirit, and he has a bright future ahead of him. He's one of the most exciting young players in baseball today and one of the best pitchers of his generation. Williams was the starting pitcher for game one of the series when the Toronto Blue Jays visited last week. He threw 7.0 flawless innings and gave up only one hit. He also struck out 12 batters, which was a new personal best. His next outing was against the Tampa Bay Rays and Williams dazzled again. He threw 5.0 innings and fanned 10 more batters while conceding just a single run. Williams joins an elite club of Cleveland rookies who have struck out 10 or more batters in two consecutive starts. The other two members are Herb Score, who did it in 1955, and Bob Feller, who did it in 1936. Williams has always had a superb fastball that can easily reach triple digits, but the biggest change in these two starts has been his curveball effectiveness. He used the pitch 33 times over his last two starts and got five swings and misses. This off-speed, along with his fastball speed, is hard for even the most seasoned hitters to adapt to. Williams had just completed his fourth straight start of less than six innings. He had not allowed more than five hits or two runs in any of those outings, but he admitted several times that he was trying to be too precise with his pitches, which increased his pitch count and forced him to leave each start earlier than he wanted. That's when Willis came in to give him some advice, and the results led to a one-hit, 12-strikeout performance in the Guardians' 3-1 defeat to the Blue Jays on Monday night at Progressive Field. The advice was quite simple. Willis wanted to show Williams how amazing his numbers were if he ignored the 14 walks in his last 18 innings. When his pitches were crossing the plate, he was getting the results he wanted. He's doing all of this, and he's not letting many hits or many runs. Willis said, It's been a quick journey for him here and I think he's still giving a little too much respect to major league hitters. They deserve respect, but a little too much. Kind of dared him to be a little more assertive, and I think we saw the results of it tonight against a really good hitting team, Willis said. Williams showed that he had some extra energy in the tank from the first inning. He fanned the first two batters he faced on fastballs that reached 97.1 miles per hour and 96.6 miles per hour. After a double by Vladimir Guerrero, Williams got back on track to strike out George Springer on a slider that clocked 85.9 miles per hour. Williams kept up his pace after the first. He had already struck out 10 batters by the end of the fifth inning, 
Williams finished his night after seven innings, and he became the first rookie pitcher in Cleveland history to strike out at least 12 batters, while giving up no more than one hit. It was the most strikeouts in a start by a Cleveland rookie since Luis Tiet had 12 on August 18, 1964. The Cleveland Guardians are a team that plays baseball, which is a sport where two teams try to score more runs than the other by hitting a ball with a bat and running around four bases. The Guardians play in the American League, which is one of the two groups of teams in Major League Baseball, the highest level of baseball in the United States and Canada. The Guardians are in the Central Division, which means they play more games against four other teams in the same area. The Guardians have been playing baseball since 1894, but they have changed their name and location several times. They've been in Cleveland since 1900, and they've been called the Guardians since 2022. Before that, they were called the Indians for more than 100 years. They changed their name because some people thought it was disrespectful to Native Americans, who are the original people of America. The name Guardians comes from the statues on a bridge near the stadium, which are called the Guardians of Traffic. The statues are meant to protect the people and vehicles that cross the bridge. The Guardians have won two championships in their history, in 1920 and 1948. They have not won another one since then, which is the longest time without a championship for any team in Major League Baseball. The Guardians have many fans who support them and hope they will win again soon. Major League Baseball is a sport where two teams of nine players try to score more points than the other by hitting a ball with a bat and running around four bases on a field. The sport is very popular in the United States and Canada, where 30 teams play in Major League Baseball. The teams are divided into two groups called the American League and the National League, and each group has three smaller groups called divisions. The teams play 162 games in a regular season, which usually starts in late March or early April and ends in late September or early October. The best teams from each division and two wildcard teams from each league then play in a series of games called the postseason or playoffs to decide who will be the champions of each league. The teams are also divided into three divisions within each league, East, Central, and West. The teams play more games against the teams in their division than the teams in other divisions. The teams also play some games against the teams from the other league, which is called interleague play. The teams with the best records in each division and two wildcard teams from each league qualify for the postseason or playoffs, which start in October. The champions of the American League and the National League then play against each other in the final series of games, called the World Series, to decide who will be the overall champion of Major League Baseball. The World Series is very exciting and has been played since 1903. The team that has won the most World Series titles is the New York Yankees, with 27 titles. The team that won the most recent World Series in 2022 was the Houston Astros, who beat the Philadelphia Phillies. You've learned about the reasons why Gavin Williams will make MLB history, such as his powerful and versatile repertoire of pitches, his overcoming of injuries and adversity, his strong work ethic and competitive spirit, and his bright future ahead of him. Comment your thoughts on him and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.